welcome to Drum Roll. Today I have with me an internationally acclaimed classical flute player, recently knighted as a Chevalier des Arts des Lettres uh, for her contribution to French music. She studied under Jean-Pierre Rampal, has appeared in Vogue magazine, and has been nominated for ARIA Awards numerous times for her musical albums. Her performing spans from traditional classical music through to world, jazz, cabaret, and spiritual music using her large collection of flutes from around the world. I'd like to welcome Jane Rutter. Thank you, Annabelle. What a nice introduction. Nice to be here. <laughs> nice to see you as well. We're so used to seeing your calendar full of touring and local concerts. These last few months must have been quite a change of pace for you. It's been a very weird time, and a lot of my colleagues agree with me that the first instance, the first month, of having no touring, um, the interminable packing of suitcases and getting to the airport and the plane and the customs, all of that stopping and having time to reflect and just practice and create sort of more mindful content. That was lovely. And now sort of three months down the track, it's maybe even a bit further now, I've lost track of it. It feels very weird not to be in front of an audience, not to be hearing the sound of applause, not to be um, creating that really special atmosphere that is created between the performer and the audience. And I'm, I must say at this stage, apart from all of us worrying about how the hell we're going to survive for the next year or so, um, I really miss that. I miss that beautiful vibration between my audiences and, and my flute. Yeah, I think you're right. There's that time that we had beforehand has been very valuable for many people, not just musicians and artists, oh, but yeah. to actually stop and really think about, am I living the life that I really want to live or what do I want yeah. to keep and what do I want to change as we come back out of it? Um, but we, are, we unfortunately, as artists, though, have been the look like we're the last ones in society to get our lives back. So concerts are being missed by our audience as well as by the artists, I think. Now, you've been doing the Live at Lunch concerts for some years now at the concourse up in Chatswood in North Sydney in Australia. How long has that been going on? Well, we were to have entered our eighth successful year, so this is year eight. What international people might not know about the concourse in Chatswood, the concert hall is arguably... Uh, the finest concert hall in Australia. It's certainly my favourite concert hall to perform in. And uh, when I was asked to create this very socially inclusive lunch hour series, I decided to call it Live at Lunch and also to make the possibility for the audience members to have lunch with the musicians after the concert. So obviously sometimes we have a thousand people in the in the hall, so we can't have lunch with a thousand people. <laughs> There's a huge <laughs> Everyone wants to have lunch with Jane. So it's like a one-hour concert that happens at lunchtime. People yeah. pour in there. They're just absolute fans of the series. And they'll watch the concert it's put together and then they go and have a, a few selects who are, are quick enough to book get to have their lunch with Jane at the restaurant it's nearby. It's really exciting because we've done the concert and we always come out, come out and have a meet and greet and people get to say hi. But then we pack up our instruments and... Um, and go to the restaurant, just part of the concourse. And, you know, we walk in sometimes after a great concert and the whole restaurant erupts into the floor. And it's really buzzy. It's like it's, it's really given the, the music a sense of um, wonderful inclusion and community. So with the Live at Lunch concerts, you have a different one each time with different guests and different style of music. Tell us a little about this concert that you've got coming up with the Spanish and Italian music. Well, I've always adored the sound of flute and guitar. And uh, Giuseppe Zangari, who's a fabulous guitarist, he and I were to have done a concert called Cantabile, Cantare, Ballare, which means sing and dance. And we were going to coincide with the launch of a new Italian flute and guitar album. And, of course, the album's not finished because we couldn't get out. And it's just some really beautiful music, um, Tietes Canciones Populares by Manuel da Faya. There's a, an improvised meditation piece called Far Distant Place. Lovely suite called Tres Temas Argentinas by a, a composer called Coco Nelegati. The Entracte by Jacques Hibert, which I like to describe it as French cowboy music because it's kind of um, 
fast and furious and it's a bit like the cowboy and the horse. There's a bit of an anecdote in the concert about that. Beautiful Sicilian by Bon Paradis and Piazzolla's Liber Tango, we're playing, we're opening the concert with that. And then uh, the beautiful Cavatina by Stanley Myers, which is also known as the theme from the movie The Deer Hunter. And it's just a sublime piece. It's just a really lovely repertoire. And uh, I must say that the piece called Far Distant Place, which is a largely improvised meditation, something that's come up for me in a major way during the COVID-19 restrictions is how much I love to create meditative music that creates alpha and theta waves in the brain. You know, when you just listen to music and you think, oh, yes, I'm going to float away. Just a couple of weeks ago, actually, I released a rainforest flute meditation, which is about 22 minutes with the sounds of the rainforest and the flute. And I'll be releasing many more of those in the future. Anyway, I've, I've been really enjoying working on that aspect of my music too in the, in, during lockdown. And I think a lot of people will need that lovely spiritual music in times of stress anyway. It sounds good. Yeah. So let's have yeah. a look at the concert that's going to be on Wednesday, the 15th of July at 12 noon. That's Sydney time in Australia, which is Greenwich Mean Time plus 10, if you want to check out the time zone. And the concert's around about 45 minutes. And this one's free. Is that right, Jane? It's a free concert. I'm setting up um, a thing called Patreon, which I've only just discovered. And also, um, that's a way of people subscribing and, you know, donating small amounts or large amounts of money to musicians. I think it's great for the general public to know that even high-level performers like myself and my colleagues, uh, we are we are doing it quite tough. And it is great to feel that there's some support from the government, please, <laughs> and also from, from the people who love our music. For me, putting a, a dollar value on music always feels so weird. And I, I think it's also important for the general public to know that we musicians, most of us don't like this feeling of going cap in hand and, and asking people to donate. It doesn't feel natural. We, I mean, if I had my way, I'd have all my bills paid and I'd just play my music for nothing because it's such a joy for me to perform. But if you love music and you're listening and watching, perhaps you could consider donating to musicians in need. The concert is free and you can also go and have a look at Jane Russ's website janerutter.com nice and easy to find on there you'll find a store of all her fantastic cds and you can also join the mail list there and find out when this wonderful cd is going to be launched with giuseppe zangari and also you can help out with patreon so you'll be able to find a link to jane rutter's patreon this is the very best way to get money direct to the musicians who are very limited in their opportunities at the moment to perform and they really could do with your support because that's what, we're, that's what we need to keep alive to keep the arts going. Could I just say it's really helpful. Many of, many of my colleagues from Live at Lunch, we've all got our own YouTube channels. And if you hit the subscribe button, it will make a difference to our livelihoods. And also do follow us, subscribe to us on Spotify or Apple Music. We will be so grateful for the acknowledgement of a follow or a subscribe. Thank you for joining us today, Jane. I'm going to put all the links below. And uh, look forward to seeing your concert on Wednesday. So great to talk to you again, Annabelle. Thanks so much.